Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historical Park, Lander Catoctin Creek Aqueduct. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler. This is gonna be a short video and we're ready to travel. Well, I'm by lock number 29 on the CNO Canal and that's the lock keeper's house and that belonged to Mr. Lewis Cross. Right here is lock 29 where Mr. Cross would come out of his house and work the locks for the boats coming through the uh, CNO Canal here. And this is looking east towards Washington, D.C. And then you can ride your bike here on the CNO Canal. This will be heading east towards Washington, D.C. And then west, this will take you all the way up to Pittsburgh and a lot further beyond that. I'm not sure the whole story of the uh, bike trail there. There's a little information here on the lock keeper's life. I'll just pan around here, tell you a little bit about the lock keeper here. Right there's part of the CNO Canal. It's all dried up, but uh, sometimes during floody seasons, this will fill back up. Uh, lock keepers were available any time of the day or night to operate this lock. Tending locks were often a family venture and the canal company preferred family men. Lock keepers were paid as much as $600 a year and were provided a lock house with a garden plot. The last lock keepers at Lander were Lewis H. Bugs Cross and his wife Mimi and their four children. The family operated Lock 29 from 1917 until the canal closed in 1924. For nearly 40 years, they continued to live in the lock house after the canal had stopped operating. Here's a picture of Bugs. He lived here until he died back in 1962. Take a walk around Mr. Cross's house here. There's probably just one big room inside. I think they give tours. I'm not sure when that is, but that would really be interesting to go inside and just to see how they live there. I'm sure they had a lot of land back there during the day. Go around to the side, the sun's gonna blast us here. It's kind of late in the day. And they probably just, uh, just a few minutes to come down the back porch come over here to lock number 29 well as you can see by the width of the lock the boats that came through here weren't very wide and this looks like it uh, might have been where the gates were at still see the metal brackets here and the ones over there are gone That was just a short little tour there of the uh, lock house. Uh, as you get closer into DC, there's actually some of the locks that you can still see the gates and all that. And uh, I think they show you how those work and you can see water going in and out of those, but that would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe at another time. So I think that's gonna do it. And on that note, Traveler out.